Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. And today I'm going to be talking about growing sweet corn in small spaces and how to get started before your last frost date. These two beds back here, those are where I'm going to be growing the sweet corn this year. I'll take you over there and we'll talk, take a look and talk about some of the challenges of doing it in small spaces. And one of the challenges we face with growing sweet corn in a small space is that corn is wind pollinated. When you don't have a large block to plant the corn in, you don't get good cross pollination between the plants. Now the way we can overcome that is by hand pollination. And that's a strategy that I use to get full ears of corn without having this huge block of corn to plant them. The other challenge for us small growers is that even if we had the big space to grow a big block of corn in, I don't know about you, but my family can't eat 100 years of corn in like a week. So by growing in small blocks, I can split the corn harvest into multiple sessions where we can enjoy the corn while it's still fresh right from the garden. Now let's look at the second challenge of getting the corn started before the last frost day. And that is two things, is that one, because it's before your last frost day, you could get a frost and that can kill the corn. The other part is that the ground temperature is too cool for good germination. So I'll take you closer in to the thermometer so we can see what the current ground temperature is. Now this is the current temperature of my raised bed. And being a raised bed, the ground does warm up a little faster than, say, if it was in ground. Right now, the temperature is reading a little bit under 60 degrees, which by itself would be fine for the corn germination. Um, it's right at the lower limit of the corn I have germinating properly, but still not that great. Now, the way to overcome the cool soil temperatures in the risk of frost to get your corn a little head start um, before the regular growing season really kicks in is to start your seeds in your seed tray and transplant those. Now I soaked these seeds overnight in water. Um, it doesn't hurt to have a little poo bear there to watch over them. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to put these in the seed tray to give them a head start. I'll put them on a heat mat for about two days or so, maybe three, just so that they have a good warm temperature and a controlled environment to get those started. Starting corn in a seed tray is really no different than any other seed you do, except the, the seeds are much bigger. So I simply moisten my seed starting mix, I'll put them in. I'll just do one kernel per cell. I know not every kernel will germinate, so I am starting extras beyond what I actually need so that even with failures, I'll still have plenty to get through my first planting outside. My target for this first planting is about 44. I am gonna start 60. If I get a a good germination. I will maybe extend it out to 48. Otherwise, I'll just take the strongest 44 that I get and transplant those into the bed. Now, you may have noticed I had these uh, seeds in this purple bowl. These seeds are two years old, so I'm just kind of curious as to whether they will germinate or not. Now the variety I'm planting here is called Northern Extra Sweet. It's a short uh, maturity uh, sweet corn and it matures in 67 days. This variety is also known for good germination in cooler soils and being up here outside Chicago. I mean, we still can get frost up until May 15th which is my general target date for planting these into the ground. 
Now, once these are fully germinated and they grow, you know, two or three inches, something like that, I will transplant them out about May 15th, just depending on what the weather looks like. I mean, if we're going to get some real, like, freezes, then obviously I'll just delay them a little bit. But for the most part, by May 15th, we should be pretty good. And I'll just be able to transplant them out. And even if it's still slightly cool a little bit uh, at night, these should do fine um, in those temperature conditions that we would have at that time. For my second planting, I will most likely just plant those directly into the ground. Uh, and that'll be around May 20th. My third planting, I'm looking around June 15th to June 20th. With, uh, with those last ones maturing in early September. Now if you had a really small space, like say a four by four bed, what you could do is they got some varieties that are made for like containers where they could be planted really densely and still grow. So if you have a, a small space like a four by four bed, you plant them densely, you have a little more challenge just keeping them watered and with enough nutrients and nitrogen mostly. But you can totally do it, you can hand pollinate them, and you'll still get a good harvest. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.